Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you the Epilepsy Imaging site, which provides an introduction to the basics of neuroimaging in epilepsy. After you log in, you see the main page. It is subdivided into three sections, Neuroimaging Basics, Exercises and Cases. Let us have a closer look at the Neuroimaging Basics. This part is a textbook with seven chapters covering technical essentials and imaging of the main epileptogenic lesions. Each chapter consists of a text and includes several illustrations and examples. Here is the chapter on anatomical landmarks. You'll notice that there are links embedded into the text. When you click on them, a separate panel opens that shows the respective landmark on a template MRI. This is however not just a static image, but a fully functional MRI viewer. This means that you can navigate through the whole dataset, for example, to better examine the location of that landmark. You can also change contrast by holding down the alternate key and moving the mouse. In other chapters, for example this one on tumors, the MRI viewer is embedded into the text and allows inspection of the complete MRI. Let's have a look at the next section. Clicking on Epilepsy Imaging takes you back to the main page. The Exercises section currently holds material to practice identification of several anatomical landmarks on MRI. Your task is to select the correct solution for the specified target out of a list of three suggestions. A click on option 1 focuses on region 1. Ok, let's see how the others look like. I'll go for option 3. Then I select Show Solution and I was correct. Next takes you to exercise number 2 and so on. Let's go back to the main page. The Cases section contains several real-world cases to practice interpretation of MRI in the context of other clinical findings. First, you are presented only with the selection of MRIs. In this step, you review the imaging data without any additional information. In the next step, clinical information is provided, such as history, semiology, e.g. and so on. This may give additional hints and either point to a certain region or confirm your previous findings. Step 3 consists of a few questions type and location of the lesion and types of displayed MRI sequences. The next step shows the solutions and provides feedback on your answers. The last step then finally provides the solution and some additional information such as surgical outcome, histology and so on. Alright, this concludes this short tour of epilepsy imaging. Have fun using it!